Like any professional assassin, the Puff Adder comes equipped with an arsenal of high-tech weaponry and extremely sensitive detection equipment. But it will not hunt. Its technique is to wait for food to come to it. So the Puff Adder takes up its ambush position near to a scent trail. Its eyes are particularly good at detecting movement. But now the snake's other senses come into play. It has special sound detectors. Rather than hearing sounds like we do, it picks up vibrations through the skin around its jawbone. This doesn't work too well with airborne noises, but if the puff adder rests its jaw actually on the ground, vibrations are amplified enormously. Even the minuscule impact of this mouse's feet on sand can be detected by the snake. Now the snake tongue flicks. It's targeting its prey using its acute sense of taste and smell. But when the mouse moves within 15 centimeters of the snake's head, heat-sensitive cells in the adder's lips become stimulated by the mouse's body heat and let the snake finally know that it's within strike range. The information from sight and hearing, smell and taste and thermodetection is processed by the snake's computer, its brain. The target is confirmed. The puff adder bites. Venom is injected deep into the tissues of the mouse by its super long fangs and releases. It's anxious not to be hurt during the strike. So it uses its venom as a hunting aid to immobilize or to slow down rather than to kill. The puff adder is now content for its prey to escape. It probably won't go far before the venom takes effect. The snake yawns to reset its jaw dislocated during the strike. It's in no hurry. For the escaping mouse has left a trail behind it. Not a trail that you or I could detect, but the snake can. The invisible paw prints of the mouse release odour particles which waft towards the puff adder. It captures them with its forked tongue. The mouse has also left invisible drops of urine behind it. The snake uses specialized cells on its retina to see ultraviolet reflectance from this urine trail. And as it sets out in pursuit, it also feels the residual heat left on the ground by the paws of the unfortunate mouse. The puff adder follows this invisible trail back to its inevitable meal. <laughs>